what you're going to need to do in SketchUp, first of all, is to go to Window and go to the Extension Warehouse. And from here, we're going to install a plugin which is going to make it a lot easier to export to Unity. And the plugin is called PlayUp. So if you type PlayUp into the search box, click Search, you will need to log in. Um, you can log in before you do the search or after, it doesn't matter. And it's PlayUp Tools Exporter. And you'll want to click Install. Now, if you're not logged in, it will ask you to log in. If you are logged in, it'll just install it. Now, if it doesn't do it for you the first time, just click it again until it does. Uh, eventually, it will install. There's no reason why it won't install on the school computer. Now, once that is installed, you can close that. And you're going to need to install uh, something called Image Magic. The website is imagemagic.org, so it's magic with a K on the end, it's still a C, so I M A G E M A G I C K dot O R G. And you'll want to go to Binary Releases Windows on the left hand side. And then in the versions, you do not want to get the 64 bit version you want to get the portable Win32 Static and you can click either of these links here so it's portable Win32 Static I'll just zoom in so you can see that portable Win32 Static click either of these and now download once they've downloaded you'll need to extract that zip file to somewhere on your memory stick okay so just extract it to somewhere on your memory stick I've extracted mine to um, I think the default place C drive program files image magic it doesn't matter where you extract the folder to just make sure it's on your memory stick and then you can go back to SketchUp and you'll want to go to plugins play up preferences and down the bottom here you need to type in the link uh, or the I guess the, uh, what would you call it, not URL, the folder location, uh, to convert.exe. Now there is a quick and easy way to do this. If you go you know, C drive, program files, or wherever it is, image magic, and then click at the top here, it will get that for you. You can control C, control V, and then type a backslash convert.exe. Okay, so that needs to be there, and it should give you a tick. Now, yours will probably be something like F drive backslash um, image magic backslash convert dot exe, depending on where you've installed it. But it does need to be in there. Then at the top, you're going to go to Unity 3D settings, and here's where things are going to get a little bit different. You're going to need to create a new project in Unity. So I've got Unity open here. File new project and you want to create this new project on your memory stick so browse uh, go to your memory stick wherever it is down here uh, I've, apparently I've got Reese's USB plugged in so I have to bring that back to him but I'll just create a new project here for him anyway uh, new folder my freeze and I'll call it um, render tests and click in that and click select folder don't need to import any of these. Click Create Project. Now that'll open up a new uh, folder here, or a new Unity project. And I know what this is. It's going to be. Well, I'll just wait and grab it properly. So if I go to here, Render Tests, and Assets, I'm going to click up the top. Control C that and put that into there and I'm going to do the same thing here and type play up afterwards Now that's probably going to give you an exclamation mark because you'll then need to go into the new unity project in your project panel create a folder and call that play up now we're pretty much ready to go and any unity project that you work with you will need to do this and you'll need to I think it just paused oddly for a minute there uh, I think I was saying any any Unity project you will need to change the settings in here. However, you should only be you know working on one project at a time, um, and this is where it's going to export to. 
So looking at what I've got now, uh, that should fix itself in a second. I'll just close those render settings, just go play up preferences. Okay, so it has got the tick there now, it does exist. Close that. And this button here, this first button on the left will allow me to check normals. So what that does there, anytime I see a green face like that, if it's an area that the player is meant to see, I need to change it. Okay. Now they're not going to be able to see this part here, so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, and it doesn't look like any of those green faces are visible. Don't worry about the red or green lines. I'm going to turn that off. This button here. So after you've done that and you've checked that all the normals are correct, just make sure that you don't have too many components in your model. So you wouldn't want to have it like this uh, with all these different components here because each one of these is going to export as a separate model from Unity. So you want to make sure that you group as much of it together as possible. At least those things that are meant to be together. And then I'll uh, make it a component and call it Water Tower. And put that in there like that. I actually took out a few other things here because on my initial test uh, it was taking way too long because each one of those parts of the mine in there um, were was uh, a separate part, it wasn't a whole component going all the way back. So if you've got a whole lot of small components together, just group them into one mesh and it will make your life a lot easier when you imports into um, SketchUp. So with this done, uh, you can click this button to check um, no geometry selected you can say there it will do a little count for you hopefully give you a notice in a minute so that says 130 if I click on this it's going to take a bit of time but this is just going to give you a, a vertice count and it should be below 65,000 uh, I would imagine that most of your models will be um, but if you've got a lot of curves in them, you will probably want to convert them to not curves. For example, if I just quickly zoom in before I go on to the next part. This shape here and um, this shape here in a game are going to be virtually indistinguishable. Okay, You're not going to notice that this one only has 10 sides and this one has 32. But it also means that, oops, if I turn on edges, this one is a lot easier to edit because it has faces on there, whereas this one ha just has a curve around there, and it's not as easy to edit. It's also going to put in a lot more triangles, which means it's going to take a lot longer to render. Okay, so with that done, I've got my model here. I've got all of this stuff set up, preferences that set up right, um, all nested measures merge into top level components or groups, this is set up right, I'm ready to go, I click this button and I wish to export the entire level, I click OK and it will, it will take a little while uh, depending on how many textures you've got, depending on how many models you're exporting uh, and when it's done it'll come into Unity and it'll do its little import and I've got this here. So this is where I exported it to earlier. I've got my big rock imported. I've got my cactus imported. I don't know why the arms didn't come in texture there. I've got my ground imported, my rock, my other rock, rock face imported, water tower imported. And then I can build the scene up in here. So with this stuff selected, by the way, if you hit space on any window, where it used to be. No, they must have changed it used to be able to hit space and maximize that window. No, it doesn't matter. Let's maximize. There we go. And with this done, I can then go and use vertex snapping to snap this different places. Position that there. Grab my water tower, which is out here, and bring it out to here wherever I want it to go. Use V to vertex snap that to the ground. So that's snapped to the ground. Maybe pull it down a little bit so it's in the ground that over here. I've got some other bits under here that I don't... Oh, 
I haven't set it to the right scale. It's really, really tiny at the moment. Um, I've got these rocks here. So in there. So I can move those around. And once it's in Unity, that's when I'll build my scene up. Uh, using my box model as a reference to position everything fine. Sometimes it'll come in and it will look funny like this here. If it looks funny like that, let me go back, exit out of the maximize mode, and you'll want to click on the actual model, so it's probably best to do it on all of them anyway, and change normals from import to calculate and apply that. and it should fix any errors there we go so it's fixed those errors up um, faces that were kind of dark and also generate light map UVs you'll probably want to generate colliders but you don't need to do that at the moment uh, generate those light map UVs so that you'll be able to light map it later on and there we go so what's going to follow in the next few videos essentially is going to be um, more texturing tutorials, tutorials on how to texture, how to use projection textures, how to edit textures, things like that, that you'll need.